Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. I'm Thibaut, Chief Product Officer and Co-Founder at Viking. Uh, for the ones not familiar with Viking, we build computer vision technologies for advertising and e-commerce companies. We're London-based. I'm really excited to be here in front of you guys. It's the first time we attend AWE, and it's the first time that we speak on stage about products we've been working on for the last 18 months. Today, we have two big announcements for AR, and specifically in e-commerce. Uh, hold on. Here you go. So this is the Vitruvian Man. It's a drawing from Leonardo da Vinci. I don't know if anyone here knows the, his, his name. Probably not. <laughs> Um, he's the perfect representation of the human body. It's, the, it's a perfect blend between art and mathematics. The human body is poetic and useful at the same time. It's perfect. It's our duty as augmented reality experts or virtual reality experts to reproduce this perfection into the virtual world. It's emotions, it's appearance, and it's movements. To do so, we'll have three tools. We will have machine learning, computer vision, and 3D graphics. A lot of people have been focusing on um, environmental AR for the last years, so where you overlay AR content onto the user's environment. So think the dancing uh, hot dog from Snapchat, uh, think Pokemon Go. This is not going anywhere, but we think that when it comes to the consumer, body AR is going to play a very big role in the next years for advertising and for e-commerce utility. It all started with the face. It took a long time for face recognition to be where it's at today. This gentleman here is Woody Bledsoe. In 1966, he was the first to use a computer to recognize a human face. So, thank you, Woody Bledsoe. <laughs> we came a long way since then. Today, we can do face recognition, face tracking, emotion tracking right on your smartphone. We have Snapchat, obviously, to thank for that. I don't know if anyone works at Snapchat here. Thank you. <laughs> to thank for successfully establishing the AR category. Users love AR face lenses, whether they're branded or not. And I'm sure you all play with a dog filter. Don't pretend. Um, brands rapidly understood that AR offers real opportunities. In AR, there's much more to be done. AR lenses are popular because they're user-centric, and the technology enables users to enhance or alter their realities and their appearance. Face tracking has been done amazingly well over the last years. There was a mass adoption of face lenses by users and by brands. When we saw the first non-branded AR lens, uh, we were in Berlin, where we started Viking, and we were truly amazed by this experience. And we thought that this experience should only be in Snapchat. So we decided to find a way to take this AR lens experience and to take it outside. So we decided to launch Viking Face AR. So we developed our own 3D face tracking, which can work for all devices, not just the iPhone X, and which can work for any mobile app out there. Any mobile app today can integrate our SDK, which is the most lightweight SDK on the market, which includes 3D face tracking, background segmentation, and our own AR graphics engine. Big, pub big publishers can now offer up AR lenses in their own app, can distribute them, and even create AR experiences similar to what you see on the screen. So this is, these are brands that we previously worked with, where a 3D uploader tool on the same pattern as the Lens Studio, where users will be able to create their own AR experience and to distribute them on their own apps. Each time there is a computer vision breakthrough, brands always embraced it. You had pattern tracking, then you had clickable serial boxes. You had face tracking, then you had sponsored lenses. Brands always played the game. But 
they always used what was available on the big advertising and the big social platforms. But there is a bigger opportunity here. One of the biggest challenges for AR, and I'm sure you all know it, is to go mainstream, is to find great utility. For example, face tracking can be used to apply makeup or for virtual trials for eyewear, for example. But what brands really care about is the conversion rate at the checkout. And that does not happen on Facebook, even though they would love that. AR can help the conversion funnel for a brand. One of our missions at Viking is to bring this computer vision technology to every single app out there, including the retailer's apps. This will allow brands to enhance shopping experiences. So if face AR is the beginning of body AR, where are we going next? Who's wearing shoes today? Raise your hand if you're wearing shoes. If you're not, if you're not raising your hand, it's a bit weird. All right, that's, not a, that's a lot of shoes still. So a year ago, I went to a shopping mall. Uh, and I don't really like going to shopping malls. I find this is a very stressful experience. I wanted, to buy, I wanted to buy a pair of new sneakers, so I wanted to go to Foot Locker. I was browsing around to find the best model. I finally found one that I liked, um, so I went looking for a shop assistant. Um, turned out the person didn't really work there. So it's very misleading if you wear a black and white top in a Foot Locker. Um, I finally found the right person who was working there. She didn't have my size. I'm a half size. I don't know if people can relate. S such a pain. Uh, and she only had the pair in red. And I don't really like to wear red. So I wasted half a day. And I went home shoeless. I had shoes, but not new shoes. So we thought, wouldn't it be cool if you could avoid that hassle and try on shoes directly from the comfort of your couch? So we decided to launch Viking Foot AR. And here's a little teaser video that we prepared for you. This is the first time that real-time foot tracking will be used in e-commerce. This is the first time that a user will be able to go on his favorite sneakers mobile app, sitting on his couch, check out the pair they like, and they virtually try the shoes on in real time, thanks to Viking's Foot AR. And thanks to AR measurement, we will be able to recommend you the best size for you. Basically, we're smashing all the obstacles for people reluctant to buy shoes on their phone. You won't need to go to a shopping mall anymore. This is a huge step for AR. Excuse the pun, I had to do it. <laughs> when we released that video, we went viral. More than 100,000 views, more than 2,000 comments. We received validation from sneakerheads, obviously, computer vision experts, and even the biggest shoe brands out there got in touch with us. So expect in the next six months to have uh, Viking Foot AI integrated in a, in a retailer mobile app uh, that you probably know. The online footwear market represents $50 billion globally. And just in the US, $18 billion. We're tackling a multi-billion dollar industry here. One of the biggest challenges for an online retailer is the return rate. So how many people return products because they're not happy with the order? It's a huge logistical cost, representing a loss in revenue of $10 for every pair of shoes returned. Giving the possibility to users to try on shoes before buying them will reduce those return rates. But the quest to recreate the Vitruvian man, in case you forgot, it's the little guy from the start, will not end there. We're already working on our next mission. Our next mission is full body AR. So it's great to have the Iron Man mask on, but how cool would it be to have the full Iron Man suit? 
So there's an obvious application for the entertainment sector. You could be Iron Man, you could be the Hulk, you could be Shrek, and move and talk like them. Thanks to our 3D face tracking, you would be able to move and interact. The, the experience would be fully reactive. But there's an obvious application, too, for online retailers. On the utility side, for a user when they're shopping online, it's very important for them to try on clothes before buying them. So you will be able to have a full outfit, and it won't look gimmicky, because when it comes to AR, you really need, you really need to nail the graphic side. Otherwise, uh, it can, you can have bad repercussions for the brand. And so you could think about virtual mirrors, of course. But you could also think about integrating our technology to a mobile app, to a retailer's app, for example. So online shopping can be a very lonely experience. People love to go shopping with their friends, asking them for opinions before buying a product. We foresee a future where users will be able to share the same augmented shopping experience. So bear with me here. <laughs> And this will be enabled by the AR cloud, where AR experiences persist in the real world, despite, uh, no, sorry, across space, time, and devices. So not only you'll be able to see the shoes on yourself, but your friend will be able to see the shoes you're trying on too. So basically, online shopping can become social again, thanks to AR. Now, let's take a step further. Let's imagine a world where AR headsets are worn by everyone. And I'm sure this would make a lot of people happy here. With this in place, you will be able to change the way people perceive you visually. So you could AR enhance your clothes. What if the future of clothing was no longer physical, but digital? What if you could change your appearance with an AR in-app purchase? So imagine wearing a pair of these really cool Adidas shoes with little wings on them. I'm not sure I would wear them, but I would definitely uh, try them on once. <laughs> and each time you take a step, the wings flutter behind you, as though you are walking on a bed of clouds, and you could have stars rotating around your ankles. So this might sound crazy to you, but people are already buying branded Beatmojis on Snapchat. People are already buying digital clothes on the Kim Kardashian Hollywood app. How do I know that? Because I play it. So, we're still in the infancy of AR. But with a combination of AI, computer vision, computer graphics, the next few years are going to be very interesting, and full-body AR is going to become a big part of our daily life. So if you have any questions, we have a booth uh, in the conference center. Uh, we brought in a Combi a Volkswagen van, so, and we have beer. So if you want to come by and ask questions, you'll feel free. Thank you very much.